It was my first day in Basel and I had to fuel up for a day of exploration. The Nomad Hotel had a beautifully presented breakfast spread that felt like each item was hand prepared with care. A jolt of caffeine and we took off to the streets starting in the old town of Basel. I could have spent hours just wandering these enchanted courtyards and these narrow streets with multicolored homes, many of which were very historic homes and houses. Basel's old city is a must. It's built on two hills right next to the Rhine, and a lot of the buildings are dating back to the Middle Ages. For example, the town hall is over 500 years old, and this iconic red building dominates the Marktplatz, or the main square, which also often has a very cute farmer's market. There are many important boutiques and shops here too, like the Johann Vonner Christmas House. And it wasn't the holiday season, but I certainly got into the spirit. You can't help it inside this festive shop. We were lucky enough to even meet Johann himself. I had never seen so many handcrafted ornaments in such creative and funny designs. Here. But here on this place, it's January 1969. Wow. It's really special. It's I haven't time. been to a, It is a long time. <laughs> I haven't been to a place like this. Our Basel day continued with another unique city tradition, the river ferries. They use the natural current of the Rhine River to move back and forth, and locals love them just as much as the tourists. The river is a big part of the city life, and I just loved being on it. Art is also a major part of the city, which has over 40 museums. And I couldn't leave Basel without hitting one of the most important landmarks, the Kunst Museum. With three separate buildings and thousands of works, famous pieces from the Renaissance, as well as the 19th and 20th centuries, I recognize many familiar names, and the grand space of the museum leaves you room to appreciate each piece on its own. And there recently was a new addition. We've just crossed through an underground passageway to the new building, which just was opened. It really focuses on the second half of the 20th century with a major focus on American artists. Even the building itself is a work of art, meant to reflect the original building but express a newer, more modern side. The special exhibits here vary, and we were lucky to be able to check out a different style of figurative art from the very well-known painter Jackson Pollock. We hopped on board to check out another artistic destination, the Foundation Baylor. This is the Foundation Baylor, and it's a modern and contemporary art museum here in Switzerland. It's actually the most visited in the whole country. And what I really like about it is this beautiful building. It really embraces the nature and it has this indoor-outdoor feel. This curated collection is a marvel to walk through, with all the natural light spilling in through the large glass windows. In no time, we were back in the city center. And now we were checking out the other side of the river, Klein Basel. Though the name directly translates to Lesser Basel, Klein Basel is anything but that. This very trendy area has a lot of outdoor cafes, cool boutiques, vintage shops, and lively restaurants. It was fun just to walk around and browse. We stopped by Caserne, a popular theater, dance, and music venue, which has events almost every night of the year. And this neighborhood even has its own brewery. Welly beer has been made in this microbrewery for over 40 years, and it's become a Basel favorite. The brewery is also a restaurant, perfect to warm up with a pint of your favorite beer or to have a tasting. The atmosphere was so inviting though, we had to stay for dinner to end our busy day in Basel. On the same street, Grenzwert is a very popular bar from another era. It has fireplaces, stuffed animals on the wall, and an overall feeling of coziness. This is just one of the many cool bars in the area for those that are looking for a little bit of nightlife. <laughs>